What is light year about? What is light year about? Light year to me is about perseverance and it's about embracing fear and obstacles and making them your allies as opposed to uh, fighting against them. You can pull them in and, and uh, these things that you face in your life, I feel like if you embrace them, you'll overcome them. And if you run from them, they'll overcome you. And to me, light year is about uh, learning how to. Uh, to take what you're afraid of and run with it and become successful with that, with that fear. How does music support the story of this film and films in general? Music is always there to tell you uh, sort of the subtext of what's happening in a scene. Music is there to support the emotional side of a story. It's not always just to point out the action and all of these things. It's actually to give you a window, an insight into how a character is feeling. When you just look at someone, you can't always tell what they're feeling. And music is the thing that can help us understand what somebody is going through. Without the presence of music in a film, an audience can get lost into what's happening. And so music is there to support that emotional content to help you empathize and understand what characters are going through. And you don't want to go too hard with it or push too hard. It's sometimes you only need one simple little idea uh, to get a point across, but it's, it's about evaluating a particular moment in a particular character's life and seeing what you can do to help support that. So the audience understands. Explain your long-standing relationship with Pixar. <laughs> explaining my long-standing relationship with Pixar, uh, I suppose the best way to look at it is it's like, you know, those friends you have when you're a kid and you grow up with those friends and you share the most intense moments growing up. Uh, you share everything you love about all the nerdy things that are in your life, whether it's, uh, you know, the Muppets or Star Wars, it doesn't even matter. It's all of these things. And, and, it is sort of a grown up ex a grown up version of that you, you know you get to experience that just pure love and joy for the things you're creating in a way that when you were a kid you enjoyed sort of consuming star trek and consuming the twilight zone all of these things like the fun you had loving the things you loved as a kid that's what it's like working with pixar and that's that's why i love it so much speaking on that how would you describe Pixar's approach to storytelling? Are there aspects of it that you relate to as a storyteller or only for yourself? Yeah. Um, Pixar's relationship to storytelling is, is, I guess the way, the best way to describe it is it's about always going for the truth and the honesty in, in a particular moment. Um, many animated films are there to tell the joke and nothing but the joke. Um, and Pixar refuses to sacrifice the truth behind a story, the actual feelings that characters have. They're, they're not afraid to be bold enough to say, no, this character is incredibly sad right now. This character is going through a tough situation. And, and the reason that I feel they're so successful is because people can identify with those ideas. People identify when somebody is sad, somebody they know is sad, or somebody in front of them is, is going through a tough situation. And I think Pixar is, is one of the much braver companies in the world that is able to put that out there and say, no, it's okay to be all of those things. Uh, and we're going to present it to you as it is in your own life. Uh, but through this crazy, fantastic lens of uh, of what we do at Pixar through animation and sound and music and all of these things, but not forgetting what it's really about is their genius. And that's, that's, I truly believe that. How would you describe the light year score? I would describe the light year score as a complete love letter to all the movies I loved growing up. Um, all of the sci-fi adventure movies, all of the action movies that I just ate up as a kid uh, and still eat up today, it was everything I do is born out of that love and fascination and inspiration I got from watching all those films as a kid. And Lightyear is no different. Lightyear is basically a love letter back to all of them saying thank you for inspiring me. And hopefully what we do here with this film will inspire the next generation of 
of kids that'll grow up and go out and make things that that inspired uh, in a way that inspired them when they were kids. What elements needed to be incorporated into the score, knowing this was the big budget popcorn film Andy saw that made him want the buzz like your actor <laughs> and you're very familiar with these films yes uh one of the things that was always it's always fun to do is to establish a very uh solid theme for a character or a film uh and all the movies i watched growing up had that and they were scored by people like bernard herman or john williams or jerry goldsmith and and many many others uh they all developed these themes and these this this music that became a character in the film itself and i was drawn to that immensely growing up so for me i wanted to do the same for this movie was to create themes for buzz and for for zerg and and for izzy and and have them be characters themselves in the movie that could help tell what the characters are doing what they're thinking what they're feeling um all my favorite movies you can relive in your head by just listening to the score. So the goal for me was to kind of deliver something that if you listen to, you could relive that movie, you could hear that story in your head without even seeing the pictures. That, that, that to me was the goal on this uh, because that's what I loved as a kid. Do you have a special Toy Story connection story or any of those? Well, my probably favorite connection to Toy Story. I did get to work on two Toy Story shorts, you know, um, the uh, uh, Toy Story of Terror and um, Toy Story that Time Forgot, which were, were both so fun to do. But my favorite thing actually doesn't necessarily involve Toy Story itself, but it does involve Randy Newman. And Randy, I found out uh, through my agent, he called and said, hey, I wanna get in touch with Michael he just wanted to tell me how much he loved Lost and how much he loved the music in Lost. And I thought, oh, my God, like, I remember when he did that, I, I was like floored because Randy is a hero to me. And especially the work he's done in the Toy Story world, which is incredible uh, and beyond iconic, like to have that sort of validation from someone who I, I respect and love so much. That was sort of the, the biggest thing that came out of all of this Uh for me. So it was just a, you know, that, that connection to Randy Newman. And then over the years, getting to know him and, and, and uh, respect him as I do, it's just, uh, that was the, one of the coolest things for sure.